Hello, and welcome to Call of Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Now, I there was looking at this game for a while. I was like, some, well, you know, late night, you know, I was looking through the PS4 store, you know, why PS Plus Extra, blah, 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 score that. I'm like, hmm. This kind of looks, this kind of reminds me of uh, Outlast. And then I'm like, hmm, that's not bad, not gonna hold you. Now, in this game, you're a detective. I don't know what kind of detective, but, you know. I feel like, I, I was looking at the game, like, a review, like, not a review, but, like, uh, how many stars got, like, this, oh god. I feel like this game got overseen by Outlast. But yeah, let's, let's enter the madness. If I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who. <laughs> and his gosh, this guy is Oh, God. HP. Oh. Oh, HP. Oh. Oh, no. This is inspired by HP Lovecraft. Oh. 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 Already starting strong, I see. Oh my god. Game saved. Okay. Oh, there's a there's a lane, Peter. I see. We're gonna go. Lane. Oh my. Okay, this game might be a little spare. Okay, I actually treat those people well, crowds. Gosh. Let me out. Okay. There's a little symbol right there. Let's try and start. I see what I'm interacting with to interact with. Ooh. I don't know what this is doing. This is like, I guess, like turning up the like, thing. A lot of these. Damn, we got bolt cutters. Wait, what if I were to go back to the area? Those are some weird vault cutters, I'm not gonna hold you. In my wake, hold the law. Think in a scale draws you on. Okay. Now I'm probably gonna do like two playthroughs of this because I was looking at trophies like accept I give up cool what the fuck what I can be part Shut up. Oh, are these like sacrifices? It's not an Arca. Maybe. Oh, R2 the spread. Fight. You have been chosen. Oh, maybe next play we'll go through the. So this time I will fight. Fight for your life. Behold. Everything has already been written. But perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. Yes. Oh. Before anything else, sub oh no, sub are on. I hate whiskey. 
I wonder why I still take these things. <gasps> He's taking his own pills on him. I swear to the old music smacks, dude. Old music smacks. It's been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. I'm telling you, man. The old music. That this shit reminded me of Fallout right here. Oh. That's not three though, okay, that's I'm that's listening. kinda random. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Westwood Station Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentwood. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. Huh? The fire has destroyed some of our documents. God damn it. Is that right? What? On a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Okay. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, do you still... <laughs> Bro, she's just concerned. I'm coming. <laughs> An old man? Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? Oh, you wow. Come to me, it means you. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Mm. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who was already dead find out the truth they say she was mad but i know that's a lie she would never have done such a thing but if you have no proof i've brought all that i have look flashback in three you to look two carefully one. at this painting tell me all the assumptions that come to mind What am I supposed oh. to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic. A rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. So I wonder if I actually have to like do take detective report. Its strange beauty isn't enough to hide the feeling of dread it carries. A sky team Okay. A warehouse on dark water. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. Do you know who the guy to the right looks like? The the picture vampire. That fucking bitch, it looks like that. Mm. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? I, I think I'm beginning to understand. 
I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from dark water right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. <laughs> All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Okay. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. Well, no, I used to be an avid reader. Uh, the book on the North Atlantic. Natural yeah, sciences, uh, linguistics. Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th oh, century. Oh no. But it seems to have been shunned since then. <laughs> I kind of have a great bear incident. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Uh, that's a name. That wasn't there. Wait, wait, why? Hold on, let me, let me just double check with something real quick. So basically, I may cut that part out. Basically, like I was saying, hey, but my daughter's, eh. Uh. and, not and, but like, you know. Yeah, that's actually like, mm. I don't like that pain. Uh, let me double check everything, because I don't think that was there. Anyway, that's good. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you. Dude, his, his voice sounds so familiar. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Dude, mmm. Uh, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman and a great painter. What a tragedy. Oh, no. You know what? Go have a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, what? you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. Okay. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Ooh. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Okay. So this is giving me like kind of like Fallout vibes, you know. I see something over there. Why the fuck? Why is that glowing like that? That's this lane. R two is probably melee or something. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. Mm, like I have uh, a Doctor Reed, you know. Hey, Sullivan, can't you go any faster? The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only oh. a specialist would know what killed it. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36. Darkwater Harbor. You should know. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. Why is that I though? can't answer that. What? You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Get it. Nobody listens to us anyway. 
That's no way to treat an omen. You can see that I'm busy, can't you? You can't understand. You're not uh. sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. What you Let's looking see. at, stranger? I've rarely seen a woman who can hold her liquor so confidently. What gives you the right to judge me? Uh, it was a compliment. So what? Let me drink, stranger. Okay, well, we're definitely not gonna meet later. That's definitely not. What the fuck is you? Why the fuck are you? Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna go, go by the fucking beat. Uh, oh, back room. Okay, I thought that was the side exit. Portuguese, no. Broken. Yeah. This place seems half abandoned. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. Cat. Hey man, I'm just looking down. I'm just looking around your office. Asilla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. I guess this blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than 70 years. Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. This is the Lune, the Bayer room. And, ooh, Medical volume too. Hey! Hey! This man and Fitzroy could be twins. What a macabre souvenir. Macabre? I never, I never heard that before. Macabre, macabre souvenir. Whatever I should I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. Next to me. Oh. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. That's all I'll get from them. Ah. Uh, that's a bit unfortunate. Hello? Oh, there you are. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors. The fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these war friends don't escape me. It's war you friend. who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on Darkwater. Tell oh. me what I can do to help you. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates, as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? Huh? Well. I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. I see that you're interested in the history of our island. Indeed, maritime activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins family had other types of contracts. But you don't know with whom? No. It was none of my business. I mean, you could have said, uh, no. Uh, what about I'm Darkwater? I'm looking for Warehouse oh, uh, 36. House 36. You know where it is. Where is it? Look, it's right there. The warehouse oh. is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Yeah, thank you. Understood. You know who the building belongs Bolt. to, don't you? Belongs to it Hawkins belonged family. to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Close again. 
I found a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer <laughs> if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that, but she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. Stop it, you cat! I was looking at your photograph. One of the men in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. Oh yeah, I saw it. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. Uh... The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? That's very true. <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. Oh, wait, is it gone now? Killer oh, whales no. don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, <laughs> you're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a yeah. try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures unlike any other. You're talking about mythology. <laughs> Indeed, you're right. There's probably something there. The miraculous catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go Clear read the numbers. story. It's displayed on a wall. I shall be on my show. Come back and see me. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. What could have done so much? Don't put that beast back in the oh. water, you shysters. You're crazy. You shysters. Where do you think you're going? Who are these others so interested in the warehouse? And why would I tell you? What's the difference between a police officer and a private detective? A badge? Exactly. Apart from that piece of metal, there's nothing that sets us apart. You think so? We're looking for the same thing, you and I. Okay, okay. Spare me the next verse. I'll tell you what I know. There hey. are sailors who think that there's a beast prowling around the docks. And then again, these guys panic at the thought of bringing a rabbit onto a boat, so... I see. And there are others who would like to use the warehouses for their goods. Who are they? Sorry. I really can't talk about them. Is this man like a fucking double? Okay, why the fuck is that... Not a um, version of the fucking green fluid. Okay, oh, okay. The fucking green lights. What the hell? Manifestation. Okay, there's gotta be something over here. Okay. Hmm. Oh, a lot pick. Uh, Damnation. Broke it. No. It's no use. The padlock won't give. St. Brendan. Patron saint oh. of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in. Go 
we'll probably go back to that. But can I hope up here? No. I'm crying. You know there's something over there. You already know. I crack my Hey guys. Gets out, I'll have Siri. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Maybe that's something else. Maybe it's something I can use that way. <laughs> this guy. No idea. You better keep it shut. <laughs> Why we don't have a clear conscience? What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? I've got to get inside. It's your boss who sent me. Oh yeah? And why didn't she say anything to us? She sent me to see who's filching her stock. I don't know what you're talking about. You got no proof to back up your claims, and I'd advise you against snitching. Fuck. What's with you wandering around here? I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's gonna be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. Now we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. I went to see the statue of St. Brendan. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by them, the sailors. Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? Cap. What? You listen through keyholes. She's the boss, yeah. She's... Shut up, you dummy! You wanted to know- She must be quite intimidating if she- <laughs> She redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope you had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. Uh. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> I bid you jump. Okay, so there's- If I can't get rid of those two, I'll have to look for another way. That guy, yeah, I don't know. Then I see our way over here. Yeah, yeah. Leaf. Fuck. Nope. Never mind. Okay, they were saying that there's unguarded entrances, so probably do that way. Oh, maybe this guy. Where do you think you're going? I'm not here. Edward P Sorry. What are you doing? I'm invested. Darn it. Why do you want to drag up my investigation? That case was closed. What more? Not much more than whatever they were. The don't. What? The old peak is here. No. Mm, let's try this one then. They're gone. You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, knows around too much, you'll have dealings with her. I shall take my leave. Take my leave and go. Okay, this is just a pig. Huh? It looks like there's a way in under this grate. Ah. A whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil.
Oh. This ratchet device seems to be usable. I could use this old wind. Mm, something else. Wait, can I just? Okay, no. Okay, okay. I was about to say. Mm, where is he? It's all. This handle will be perfect for the winch. It should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. Ah. Because uh, those are pretty sneaky, I'm not going to lie to you. Looks like everything is in its place. All that's left is to try to turn this handle. has got lost on our turf. You're not only inquisitive, oh, wow. you're also stupid. What gave you the crazy idea to come onto my turf? Mm. I don't know. Your turf? That's news to me. For a guy who has no idea, you've been doing a fair bit of poking around. My men saw you staking out the Hawkins warehouse. Is that against the law? I'm no idiot, detective. I'll tell you how things work around here. I decide who comes in and who stays out. And anyone who doesn't respect my rules, I punish them. Is your name Cat? What of it? Maybe we can come to an understanding. Maybe. Or maybe not. Well... Oh. oh. Get this Joker out of here. He might have a little trouble walking on his own. <sighs> I'm getting careless. I didn't see that coming. If I want to get into this warehouse, I'm going to have to deal with her. Toss the bitch out the bar. What did. <laughs> I think I do have a little imp. Back in the water, you shysters, you're crazy. You shysters. <laughs> We're no longer at home on our own island. Calm down. It's not worth the effort. I told him that flunky that he'll see what a real sailor has in his belly. If you continue like that, everyone will see what you've got in your belly. Well, I hope so. I hope they don't forget the lesson. Me? I'm not scared of some girl. I mean they're going to cut you open, you idiot. Calm down. Girl. She's back there. What the fuck? Another break? One of those damn sailors came looking for trouble again. But he won't try again anytime soon. Wait, those are the guys. I think those are guys. Oh. You could abandon your post. It's just a little drink. We taught those guys a lesson. We'll return right after. It's just that standing guard in this alley makes your throat dry. That fool Fitzroy can't keep his dogs on a leash. I'll have to send him a more clear-cut message. Hey, Mitchell. A drink for our new friend. I owe you. You don't know how to fight, but at least you've got guts. Yeah. Aching guts. Huh. <laughs> I've got them too, but you don't hear me why you didn't back down. It's something that I respect, so understand by that. If I catch you again, you'll carry a more permanent... Tell me, what brings you to Darkwater? I'm investigating the deaths of the Hawkins family. It's very nice of you to tell me the truth so 
openly. But it's also really stupid of you. You really don't seem to know the area. Let me give you a little advice. If you want to survive more than a day in this rat hole, avoid talking about them to the first people you meet. Okay. I need to get into the Hawkins warehouse. You're out of luck. It's on my turf. It's precisely for that reason that I've come to see you. Are you pulling my leg? Think it over. I've seen what you're capable of. And you didn't miss me. I accept the compliment. Well, I see you're serious. To be honest, as long as it doesn't interfere with my business, I don't care. But I'll go with you, to make sure you don't stick your nose into things that don't concern you. Sounds honest to me. I'm not finished. If I do that for you, if I let you onto our turf to conduct your little affairs, you'll be what? indebted to me. And I guarantee that I always collect on what I'm owed. Think about it. I help you, you'll owe me a favor in return. Do you accept? Mm. I mean, I guess I scratch her back, I you scratch mine. Do I have a choice? Oh, we always have one, detective. Follow me. Nobody questions your authority here. I was given to believe that Fitzroy stood up to you. That dope tried to save face in front of his sailors. They revere their brave captain as they do their old statues. Oh, later, all statues get buried in bird shit. And nobody cares. And the police? They do nothing to stop you? The local cops? The cops drink like everyone else, sweetheart. They know where their interests lie. Apart from that pig-headed Bradley. I don't know whether to admire his stubbornness or to have pity on him. I mean, I kind of slipped in, but... What? What? What's those guys at the bar? Do I have to stop it? It's fine. He's with me. Oh. Okay. Do I can? Mm. I wonder if you can actually like do that. That's how it's done. Do I still need to hold your hand? Or do you think you'll get by on your own now? Don't overdo it. Good. In that case, I'll leave you. I've done enough mothering for now. <sighs> okay. Ugh, oh, this place stinks. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? Ooh. Ah, that's fucking bright. I'm in detective mode. Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? Oh. The glass is shattered, like someone smashed it. Was it before or after the removal of these bandages? It smells as bad as it looks. <laughs> Whoever oh. hid it here seems to worship Sarah Hawkins. What just happened? Did I imagine? Okay, it's gonna be a flash of time. It's gonna be a flash of time.
Dude, you only have this like a little light sword. So, oh, good. Okay, am I good? 